Let's take a look at Fordism and scientific management. The development of scientific management principles and their application was a key ingredient in the Fordist organization. Indeed, part of Ford's initial success was the marriage of Taylor's principles and the moving assembly line. Below, we'll discuss the system of work organization that Taylor developed. As an engineer at the Midvale Steel Company in Pennsylvania, Taylor spent his entire professional career attempting to develop more efficient ways to work. Starting in 1880 and continuing for 26 years, Taylor performed between 30,000 and 50,000 experiments on steel cutting alone. The development and implementation of the principles of scientific management, however, were by no means simply a technological issue. More than anything else, Taylor's system addressed the relations between employers and employees. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Taylor was confronted with a work environment characterized by high levels of antagonism between workers and managers. Taylor referred to this deliberate restriction of output by workers as systematic soldiering, a problem he saw as the central problem in the workplace. In developing his principles of scientific management, Taylor's objective was to replace this old system of ordinary management with a rational system rooted in sound scientific principles. Taylor outlines four basic principles of scientific management. Scientific job design. Each element of the work task is designed according to scientific principles, thus replacing the old rule of thumb method of ordinary management. Scientific selection and training of individual workers. Each worker is matched to the job for which he or she is best suited and then trained in the necessary skills. Cooperation between management and workers. In order to ensure that all the work is being done corresponds to scientific management principles, managers supply a supportive environment that provides workers with a sense of achievement. Equal division of work between management and workers. Under this principle, management assumes the responsibility for scientifically designing tasks and planning ahead. Taylor argues that the only way in which these principles can be enacted on is through what he calls a complete mental revolution.